Hi, I'm here to share with you the latest month song. It's June, and I thought this month I'd do something a little bit different, and I would explain to you a little bit about the process that went into writing this piece and what I was trying to teach my students, and hopefully your students too. Um, this piece is really like a little etude, and it's based on this concept. concept that we have to teach is dropping on two and four and popping off on one and five. But I wanted to show you some ways that you might want to try teaching that before your student actually tries to play it in the piece in this order. So the first thing you want to do is have them play a third just with one and three. So they're sure what that interval is. Then ask them if they can maybe do it with one and four. They probably can. If you're being really cagey, you can say, what do you think we'll do next? And then they'll finally do it with one and five. This is the easier way to teach this particular concept. It's easier if you start with one and five and pop up onto two and four that way. That's easier. And with my students this week, I found that as soon as they'd done that a few times, they were able to flip it around and do. Every interval, in this piece feels just the same and there's really only two things happening. Your left hand's got this, really simple intervals and it's a great opportunity to do two different things. First one is just to learn what they feel like and show them how to move, moving their thumb over and then they come back up one note. After they've done that, you, you can, if you want, you can see if they can do this and come down on the new one. So they're going to do each one twice. First one they stay. Second one, see if they can move without you even seeing it. That's what I like to do. At first, it seems like it's going to be really hard, but actually almost any student can come up in the right place as long as they use, they use that jump energy not to go straight up, but to go to the new place. So first one comes up, second one moves. Down. Okay? So that's the first thing. Um, another thing that I like to do, and I do it a lot, if there's a tricky rhythm, and in this piece there's not, I wouldn't describe it as a tricky rhythm. I don't think that's particularly tricky, but it's kind of fun. It's nice sometimes just to have the student play the hand that doesn't have the snazzier rhythm. And I like to have the student play the left hand, I play the right hand. I do a lot of introducing pieces in that order because a lot of times students aren't very good at reading the left hand. It gives them a chance to both practice reading their left hand, reading in bass clef, and give you a chance to get the piece in their ear right the first time, which is always a good idea. So. Um, I'd like to play June song for you, and I hope you and your students enjoy it.